Advanced Algebra 2 Unit 1A Study Guide Review for the Test. So now we're going to look at concept 1B, solving linear inequalities, so numbers 23 through 26, and then we're going to continue with solving absolute value equations and inequalities, so numbers 27 through 30. So we need to solve the inequality and then graph the solution. So we'll need to get x's on one side and numbers on the other, like solving an equation. So move the 3x over, and you end up with x is less than negative 8 when you subtract the 14. So now to graph x is less than negative 8, draw yourself a number line, and then do a nice even scale with 0, 8, and negative 8. We're going to have an open circle at negative 8 because we don't have an equal to mark. And then to show everything that's less than negative 8, you're going to shade to the left. With number 24, notice that this is a compound inequality. So we're going to solve both of these at once. So we start, we look in the middle. We need to isolate the x. So we'll start by subtracting 4 from all sides. So from the middle, the left side, and the right side. So negative 7 is less than negative x, which is less than or equal to Mm, that should be negative 1. Hopefully I caught that. Now we're going to divide by that negative. Alright, so then we'll get 7 is greater than x, which is greater than or equal to, I believe we should have positive 1 there. Yes, now draw your number line, and you're going to plot seven, um, but rather than negative one, we want to plot positive one. So let me just switch this up a little bit. So our graph So we'll have a solid dot at positive 1 and an open at 7. And so we want everything that's less than 7 but at the same time greater than positive 1. All right. Now let's look at number 25. So we have two inequalities to solve. This is a compound or inequality. So we just start by solving the one on the left. So I'm going to add my 3 and then divide by 2. And let's just back up a little bit here. Oop, not that far. All right, so after we added 3 to both sides, we get 2x is less than or equal to negative 1. Now we're going to divide by 2. So x is less than or equal to negative a half. Now we'll solve our other inequality. So we'll start by subtracting 1 and then dividing by 3. So x is greater than or equal to 1. Now draw your number line, and we're going to make an even scale. So we have negative a half and 1. Now when you graph, so we have solid dots at both negative 1 half and 1. We want to show everything that's less than negative 1 half, so we're going to shade to the left and everything that's greater than or equal to 1, so we're going to shade to the right. So with or inequalities, your shading will go in opposite directions. 26, we have an n and inequality. It's in the middle, so we're going to start by solving all of that at once. So we'll subtract 3 from all sides. <clears throat> so we'll get negative 3 is less than or equal to 3 fourths x, which is less than or equal to 1. Now we need to multiply everything by 4 thirds. So negative 3 times 4 thirds will give us negative 4, which is less than or equal to just x, which is less than or equal to 4 thirds. Now on a number line, you want to plot 4 thirds and negative 4. And so we have solid points at both of those, and then we want the shading to be in the middle because it's less than or equal to 4 thirds and at the same time greater than or equal to negative 4. Now let's look at solving absolute value equations and inequalities. 
So with that, we set up two cases because the definition of an absolute value is that you can have a negative or a positive value. And when you take the absolute value, you get a positive. So if you're looking what's inside the absolute value, you set up both the negative and the positive case. You're gonna drop the absolute value bars and write one equation, in this case, 11 plus 2x equals five, and 11 plus 2x equals negative five. Now solving the one on the left, subtract 11, and then divide by two. And then we'll do the same steps on the right, subtract the 11, but in this case, we get negative 16 divided by two is negative eight. If you plug both of those numbers into the original absolute value equation for x, you will get true statements both times. 28, let's just drop the absolute value bars and set up both our positive and our negative case. So now we'll start by adding five to both sides and then multiplying by four. So x equals 52, excuse me, and adding five and then multiplying by four, so x equals negative 12. Now, solving an absolute value inequality, what we need to do is set up two cases, but we need to switch our inequality sign when we switch the sign. So three plus four x is less than or equal to 15, and three plus four x is greater than or equal to negative 15. So always switch your inequality when you switch the sign. So x will be less than or equal to 12, subtract the three, x will be greater than or equal to negative 18 fourths or negative 9 halves. So we'll come back and graph. Now let's set up two cases for number 30. So 20 plus 1 half x is less than or equal to 6. And 20 plus 1 half x, sorry, greater than is less than negative 6. So now let's multiply both sides by 2. So x is greater than negative 28 we get 1 half x is less than negative 26, multiply by 2, so x is less than negative 52. Now let's graph. So look over at 29, so draw your number line, and we need to have the points 3 and negative 9 half, so negative 4 and a half. And then we're going to have solid dots at both, and the shading will be in the middle because we want to show everything that's less than 3 and at the same time greater than or equal to negative 9 halves. Now number 30, we want to have negative 28 and negative 52. And then we're going to have shading in opposite directions. Because an open circle is at negative 52 and negative 28. And we want to show everything that's less than negative 52 and at the same time greater than 28. 